Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Open Scad. Yay! We got the new intro and it works now. We like this. Do you, how how you guys like the new intro? Anyway, today's episode's all about the polygon and polyhedron. Let's go do some. Let's make some. So let's just get right into it. So, we'll start out with the polygon, polygon, since that's the most simple one, but basically, these don't really do much more than the shapes that we learned in the first, uh, I guess that's the second episode, if you count, welcome to Open Skibbit. I guess that was more of just a, hi, I exist, kind of thing, but, oh well, anyway, so, polygon is the two-dimensional version, and these polygon and polyhedron both tend to be really, really long lines. So I like to type in the polygon, and then the little parenthesis, and then edit down, and then down here, we put in our points. Points, and then equal, and then a bracket, and then another bracket, and then we start putting in the points we want. So let's do... Uh, just start on the origin and then we do another one that's like a zero comma one and then we do another point and then the one comma one and then we do another point and then the one comma two and then another point and then the, 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 the three comma zero and uh... That, that compared to our other i epics uh, our other shapes that, that may seem like it's impressive but uh... it's it's just that. It's a little one. It's a very strange one. It's all like the whoop the swoop the swoop. But yeah, that, that that's about it. Yay! <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> something went down the wrong pipe. Well, anyway, let's move on to the painful one, the polyhedron. Ah, so this one, it's a three-dimensional one, and uh, it can make a really complicated shape, but I, I don't feel like going completely insane, so we'll just make a pyramid, <laughs> okay? So let's do, you got, so now you have to declare these points in three-dimensional space, since it's a three-dimensional object, then we do... Five comma five comma zero, and then the do 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 do, and then we do 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 do, and then the negative five comma five comma zero, and then you do another one, and it's a, a five comma negative five comma zero, and then another one, then you do negative five um, comma negative comma negative five comma zero, and then I think that's all our points, and then a comma after the points, and then another tab, and you go down. And you do the most painful part, which is the tri triangles. Angles. I can't even spell it. That shows you how painful this is. Ah, I hate the triangles. Oh. But anyway, how this works is each of these points you write is assigned in a letter or number. So this is point zero, and this is point one. And this is point two, and this is point three, and point four, and so on and so forth. And you have to declare how to write triangles between all these stupid points. So then we gotta go in and we do zero comma one comma two, and then we close off, and then we do another one, then we do zero comma two comma three, and then we do do do, and then we do zero comma three comma four, and then we do another one, and it's gonna be. Zero gamma four gamma one and then we close it off and then we do something sort of like the one gamma two gamma three and then we close it off and we do like a two gamma three gamma four you gotta have a comma there and then then you close it off and you get Rawr! not working no oh hey. I forgot an S on the triangles. Yay! It's working now! Oh, that scared me. Well, it's mostly working. 
we sort of have a pyramid. So now we get to figure out what triangles we did wrong. Yay! Oh, just kill me now. <sighs> well, anyway, so let's see. We want a triangle here, but it's not here. But we have a triangle that's going like a whoop and a doop and a doop and a We don't need a triangle there, so why don't we take this point on this triangle and move it down here and that one? So, so let's see. Do do. So this is the all positives one. That's point one, and then this is the all negatives. Oh wait, no, that's negative y, which is that point point three. <sighs> point one, point three. That makes that one point two, and point four. So if we switch four and three, we should be good. So let's try that. Four and three. Ah, uh, hey, that didn't work at all. Let's just Control Z that. Oh, okay. These are our base triangles, so ignore those. So switch four and three here, but no, because that would be zero four four. Maybe it's this one. Four and. three. Three. Hey, it's working now! Yay! <laughs> Yay, it's working! Oh, thank God, it's working. <sighs> well, well, polyhedron is very much a pain. The, you can make shapes with this that are completely impossible to make in any other way, so... It's well worth learning. I guess now that means project time. Hmm. Hey, you guys know that, that train we made with no wheels or nothing back when we were doing the modular transformations? I think it's about time that we put some wheels on that. And maybe something else, but let's just focus on the wheels for now. Hmm. Alrighty then. I will meet you guys over there at our old train. See you in like two seconds. So, I is here and we got our train and whoa. This must have been before we learned about the modules and stuff because that's, that's not very pretty. Let's, let's go put that in a module. So, let's see. Do you, you control I and we tab that over and then module uh, train body train body there we go so now we can pretty this up some this looks weird it just means this look weird let's pretty it up some more don't like it don't like it it's looking weird looks really weird you gotta make it all nice and pretty, but otherwise it don't work. It actually works just fine. I just I, I like I go like bra. You don't like it when I go bra. So now we gut and paste, gut and paste. Okay. So now we have the train, oh wait, we got a C train body, train body. So now we have train body here, just as if nothing different happened, and it's just in a module, so we don't have to see all that mirror. So now, put wheels on it. Hmm. See, we can do that by rotate extruding a polygon. Let's build our polygon first. I found it really hard to adjust a polygon after it's been extruded and stuff because it's all like and funky and weird so so let's just make one so start out at the or I need to type in points we need our points points equal to brackets um, the origin 
And then let's do, let's see, how, how tall is this little plate here? Uh, how do we make that? We made that by Minkowski-ing a cylinder around a cube. Is it this one? Let's, let's check with our hashtag. Oh, wait. Oh, I get it. I get it. See ya. The polygons are getting mad at me. Don't like me. It is not that one. That would be our smokestack. We don't want to make wheels for our smokestack. There we go. So it's that one. So the cube is two millimeters tall. And remember correctly on when we rotate extrude something, the Y ends up being our height. So we want our wheels to be about five millimeters. So now we're going to have to make, and then the thickness, got to have a bracket, and then our thickness is going to have to be two, not nah, three. Let's make it three. Three sounds prettier. And four comma three, and then you close that off, and then we do four comma two, and then we close that off, and then we do... Uh, da, 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 five comma zero, and then is that gonna work? Uh, that will work, but that is fairly small. In fact, that is very small. Although the thickness isn't bad, I think I'll just change these threes into fours, and da, 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 and then this into a one. Okay, that's good thickness. Maybe a six. Okay, and then we gotta make this all oof, longer. So let's add. Do, 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 do. Let's make this eight. And just double it. Gotta double it. Actually, this one would be ten. Not twenty. That's big number. Um, do. Let's just extrude that and see what happens. Uh, control I. That's how you indent multiple lines. God, I am just epic derping today. I'm like, nyeh, nyeh, extrude, 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 extrude. There we go. I a stupid person. Hey, that looks wonderful. Maybe a little small, but we'll see about that when we place it first. So we can place this, we're going to have to translate it over, and then down, and then rotate. So let's do the rotate first, tab over twice, enter, tab, and then rotate, rotate. And we rotate this by 90 around the Y, so 0, 90, 0, and then we do it again, and then we got that, and then our translate. Translate, translate. There we go. I was spelling that right. And we're gonna translate it by half of that, which is 140. No, wait, that's 140. So the width is 40, plus our radius twice, because we got plus radius on this side. Let's raise on this side. So it's going to be total width is 44, which means to translate this over, it's going to be 22. Excuse me. 22, comma, 0, comma, 0. And I know that the Z is going to have to be different, but I don't know how different. So, yeah, that does look fairly short. Hmm. So, I take it this is probably this cylinder here. Yes, it is. So, we're going to have to translate this down by half this, which is going to be 10. So, negative 10. No, not negative 10. Negative 20? Hmm. It's, it is negative 20. Well, then. Yeah, those are really small wheels. Those are like drive wheels. Well, I guess we're going to need some drive wheels. So 
So we'll just make that the drive wheels, and then we'll make bigger ones. And those are actually I, okay. I'm not a train expert, but I'm fairly certain I'm using those by the wrong name. If you guys know what the right name is, feel free to leave it in the comments and make me feel like more of an idiot. But you, you, you know what? I don't mind being. I don't mind feeling like an idiot. Cause that just means that I'm learning. And learning is good. So let's see. I'm gonna for loop that. So four. And then it's gonna translate by the Y. So four Y equals da da da. How far we want to move that back. You know what? I want to center that thing. So let's move it back naturally by. Is it five? Whoa! 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 Okay, got gotta finish off the um. Excuse me. Excuse me. And a burpee. So, Y0 by next step, we want it to be 20? To do 20. It's a colon, not a comma. Yeesh. 40? Hmm. Negative 10 plus. Y should make it all nice and pretty, and then need our brackets. Brackets. Whoa, hey! I kind of like that actually. Hmm, that looks cool. I mean, it's not exactly what we're going for, but it looks cool. Ne negative Y. So that means that's going to have to be 20. And then let's let's add some padding here. Ooh, twenty-five. Twenty-five got to do the twenty-five and the twenty-five and then there we go. Cool. And then control I I think I think we can just cheat it by for looping this and rotating. Let's see if that'll work. So let's do tab rotate rotate. I always thought rotate sounded really weird the way it was spelled. So we're going to have to do a for loop and then do and then R equals 0 and we're going to do a step 180 to 180. <laughs> this is the laziest way to do it, but it, it works. You know what? If it works, I is happy. Much better than like typing all of this stuff four times. Cause I don't want to type it four times. Oh, hey! Well, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. Hmm. 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 Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to cut and paste. <sighs> That's depressing. That's very depressing. So then we copy and then we paste and paste and paste and do 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 do. And then we do negative ninety and okay, that works. And we got translated over by. Negative 22. Hey, perfect. So there we have the front wheels, and now we need the three big wheels in the back. So let's make this a module. Uh, control I. Module. Module. To do not a parenthesis. Module front wheels. Front wheels. And then close that off, and then to do, and then to and get, and paste. Now we're cut and paste, and cut and paste, and then F5. Whoa, hey, I forgot to render our wheels. Front wheels. Do, 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 What's wrong? Front. Oh, font wheels. 
We don't have font wheels. What are font wheels? I don't know. Fatant wheels. Yes, fatant wheels. Because we need fatant wheels. God. Let's see. 12 minutes. Huh. That means we're almost at 20 minutes already. Oh. Where? So. Um. It looks like. We're going to have to make this another two-parter, cause uh, manananda, cause I I this one is the first one I recorded in two clips. So the part with the pyramid stuff was one clip, and this is a separate clip. So that was seven minutes on the first clip. This one's now thirteen minutes. That means it's twenty minutes altogether, not including the intro. So. Uh, that means our time's up, and I got to go, which means we're going to have to finish this train later, because, you know, we just love doing things later. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I'll see you guys later, and we'll finish putting wheels on this, and maybe we'll have enough time. Hopefully for something else really cool using the polyhedron. We'd better have enough time in 20 minutes. Seems like it keeps going faster and faster. <sighs> well, anyway, I'm gonna I, I, I I'm going over time. So uh, bye, bye guys. I'll see you later. Bye. That makes my voice sound weird. I'm gonna stop waving when I talk. It sounds really weird. Bye. <laughs>